Now, um, Titi, firstly, good morning to you. Now, as per the BSA bylaws, Hickey's opponent is not supposed to be more than 2.5 kilograms over the limit, and he was an entire 3.6 kilograms over on the day of the fight. How did this happen? Hello, Nicole. I mean, such disappointing news at the 11th hour before that much-anticipated boxing tournament, of course, that is hosted by TLP Boxing Promotions that was supposed to be happening earlier or later today. I mean, it's disappointing for Heki, especially. I mean, if you look at the fact that this is a man that last fought in 2017. He was supposed to fight last year, but again, it did not happen because of, of course, COVID. But now, another fight of his has been postponed or cancelled, uh, if I'm uh, correct there. I mean, it's disappointing for him. He's a former WPA minimum weight champion. He was looking forward to this fight. I mean, the fact that it might even jeopardize his career, his rankings. I mean, in fact, to tell us more about that, we are joined by uh, the tournament director, that is TLP Promotions boss, Matt Joyce Kungwan. Matt Joyce, I mean, we are looking forward to a beautiful day of boxing, but just take us through what has happened, especially with Heki Butler. I mean, remember also, his original opponent was cancelled, and of course now, this opponent from Tanzania. Take us through that. Uh, morning, Tepo. I am so disappointed. I actually felt like the, the tournament is off. Um, remember last year around this time, Heki was supposed to fight an, a Filipino, whereby due to COVID, obviously the whole tournament was postponed. And uh, in October when we returned to, to the ring, he couldn't fight because uh, by then international flying was still not allowed in the country. So as TLB, we tried to at least let's bring him back. That is why the, the name uh, return of the big guns where we, we thought it's time people see Heki, it's time he comes back, uh, because the last time he fought, like you rightly said, that was 2017. But then we are so disappointed in this. Number one, well, that one, it's, it's an issue that uh, nobody would do anything about, whereby his initial opponent could not come because he failed the COVID-19 test, or I'll say he tested positive to COVID-19. Then in the short space of time, we were given a replacement, and uh, unfortunately yesterday he could not make the weight. We tried to say, okay, because they had signed for, for fly, junior flyweight, and then at least if they can, if, if they, they can fight under uh, um, catch weight, but the boy or the boxer did not qualify still because he was just way too overweight um, with about 4 kg. And uh, the cage weight should have it is actually 2.5 kg. If you are overweight with 2.5, you can be allowed to fight on any cage weight. But he could not even meet that one. It's just so disappointing, Sepo, because I will share with you that even the, on the day when he was supposed to to come, he 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 had to go to 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 lose. He actually he lost the fight. The, the flight to South Africa. We had to make other arrangements whereby he only arrived after the trainer. And so disappointing to say the trainer was here and then he left the boxer home. How do you come to a fight when you have left the boxer? Because the, peop the person we are interested in is the boxer and not the trainer. But those are the sad news, unfortunately, to the boxing followers. Uh, Heki will not be fighting, but we have uh, Nomeva who will be the main bout. It's a Nomeva versus Guayani from Malawi. Okay, you've heard that, Nicole. I mean, so unfortunate that we are not going to be able to see Hector Heikli Butler in action. But as uh, Mrs. Joyce Kumani has mentioned, there's bouts to look forward to. I mean, there's also a female bout that's going to be uh, involving Smangele Smash Hateba against Melissa uh, Mela and also uh, Ndongeni Nomeva against uh, Bison Kwayani later on this afternoon. Thank you for that, uh, TT.